Hi everyone and welcome to an episode of Trident Talks, the Spotlight Series. I'm Josh, the founder of Trident, and today I'm joined by the field CISO at ReliQuest, Rick Holland. Hey Rick. Hey Josh, good to uh, talk to you again. Thanks for joining. Rick, um, do you want to roll straight into an introduction? Tell us who you are, what your role is at ReliQuest. Sure. Well, the way that you and I met each other was through my time at Digital Shadows, where I was the CISO of a cyber threat intelligence company. Prior to that, I had been a forester research analyst for a number of years, and also I'm a vet like you, Army Intel, U.S. Army Intel in my case. Um, but actually, two, uh, just about two years ago, ReliQuest acquired Digital Shadows. And basically, ReliQuest is, the way I'd say it's like a managed SOC. Right, so we are basically managed detection, investigation, response, threat hunting, intel for our customers, and they basically brought the digital shadows capability into that offering. Nice. So specifically, you talk about the searchlight product. Yeah, the searchlight from Digital Shadows got incorporated into the ReliQuest product suite, which is called Gray Matter, and now searchlight is known as uh, Gray Matter Digital Risk Protection. Nice. So could you kind of bring us um, to kind of the modern day or the current day around the journey with ReliQuest? Obviously, the, the, there was the, the merger, but what was kind of prior to that with ReliQuest? How old is the business? Yeah, ReliQuest has been around a long time. They actually started doing work in, in services, doing ArcSight. I know there'll be some folks listening that remember ArcSight <laughs> from back in the day. So they were doing services, doing a lot of work. They're, our headquarters is in Florida. So they're doing a lot of work for the U.S. military forces that are in uh, Tampa, Florida. And essentially, at one point, they're like, we need to build a platform out to deliver this service. And so we basically switched from doing services um, co-managed services around SIMs and things along those lines to actually launching basically an MDR capability that's kind of evolved into the way I would describe it as a managed SOC offering. And Gray Matter is what we call a security operations platform, but that is the tool that allows us to deliver you know, the outcomes for customers when it comes to security operations. Nice. Um, so how big headcount-wise and locations? Uh, ReliQuest is large. Uh, we have probably 1,200 uh, employees. We're spread from Pune, India, to London, to Dublin, to Tampa, Florida, to Utah, and then to uh, Las Vegas. And we have Follow the Sun security operation centers that are helping deliver the service for the customers. Nice. And so Field CISO, I know typically what a Field CISO, field CISO does, most of our listeners will, uh, but for you and the kind of ReliQuest setup, what does that look like for you on a kind of day-to-day, -day? like what's your role? Yeah, one of the things that's uh, different about Field CISOs at ReliQuest is we're more customer focused, whereas a lot of Field CISOs are focused on new sales support and things like that. Yeah. I mean, of course, I still do talking head stuff, right? That's kind of my, my background in, in history and something I enjoy doing, but the majority of my time is spent on the way I describe it is I'm a consultant for our customers and I really want them to get the most out of their investment with ReliQuest. Um, I had a joke at Forrester and you've, I've probably mentioned it on Trident Talks before. I called it expense in depth versus defense in depth. Like people are just buying stuff. They're not maximizing it. So my job is to help customers maximize their investment and relationship as an executive sponsor for, for accounts. Nice. So clocking up the air miles. <laughs> AKA, AKA yes, travel. yes. Yeah. As I <laughs> as I took my whole family to England on points uh, in late May, early June earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, nice. So, um, okay, cool. Can you talk? Um, I suppose to, I suppose thirty seconds on what the future looks like at ReliQuest, or maybe more so what it looks like in the managed SOC world, because that obviously will be probably driven by ReliQuest, or at least tied into the future. Yeah, it's been pretty pretty fun working at the scale and getting you know getting deep into security operations across the whole detection, investigation, response lifecycle. I think we're in a big we're in a we're in a period of it's tumultuous when it comes to sim space right now, and when it comes to EDR, lots of acquisitions, Splunk, Cisco, Log Rhythm, Q Radar. You know, customers that I work with are trying to figure out like what is the future of their security operations. What's the future of their SIM? Do they need a SIM? What's the future of their EDR platform? And how are they going to have a service provider that's going to be able to come in and run it? And one of the things that I like about ReliQuest is not me just drinking the Kool-Aid is we have, there's a platform war going on right now. Mm -hmm. And for old timers, um, and maybe not that old, right? There was a battle between Symantec and McAfee be like the one platform to rule them all. The thing that my customers appreciate about Gray Matter, which is our platform, is it allows customers to choose multiple vendors. You don't have to go all in on the Microsoft ecosystem. You don't have to go all in on the Palo Alto ecosystem. You don't have to go all in on the CrowdStrike ecosystem. 
you can make choices and choose the solution that's best for you. So I'm really skeptical of the, I'm going to be the one vendor ecosystem that's going to rule them all. So I think Gray Matter and ReliQuest are positioned pretty well to capture the desire for customers like, hey, I have a ton of investment in Fortinet. I'm not going to get rid of Fortinet. I want to go that way. I have a ton in Sentinel-1. I want to stitch that all together. Um, and so I think we're pretty uniquely positioned there. And again, it's not me drinking Kool-Aid. You know, I've written about some of this stuff at Forrester in my career about having a platform that allows you to orchestrate across your stack and, and, and bring in and the solutions that you like and be able to swap out solutions as you need to. Yeah, nice. I love that. Yeah, seeing a lot of that, uh, the platform war uh, kind of going on at the moment. Um, so, yeah, um, totally understand and, and agree. Um, so if I'm attending Black Hat, uh, I'm a CISO. Um, where do I find you guys? Um, if uh, it, What particularly would I be looking for to then want to go and talk to your your guys on the stand? Yeah, I think if if... If, if people are overwhelmed with security operations, they're having a difficult time, you know, integrating solutions into their various SIM and other data sources. If they can't retain staff, like this is a big problem, which you will, will well know when, with what Trident does. You know, it's a really difficult thing when a CISO loses people on their team. So being able to outsource it, now I have a pool of people that can kind of fill in. So if you're having problems with staffing, if you're overwhelmed with the threat landscape, like I'm obviously quite biased because Digital Shadows was big in a threat intel. So threat research is a huge component of what ReliQuest does. Um, and I'm still heavily involved in like help customers with the threat landscape. So if those are pain points that you have, come and talk to us um, and, and we can talk about how we help solve those and, you know, have, have a combination of both, you know, a platform that enables it, but also, you know, people that are sitting behind the platform as well. Nice. And, and you guys are exhibiting, right? Yeah, we are gonna be um, we're gonna be at booth uh, sixteen fifty. Um, I'll be out there actually for a bit of DefCon as well. So it's gonna nice. be. A, you do, are you doing the be, full the full? Uh, I'll thing, come right? back Sunday. I'll come back Sunday. Okay. So I'll get I'll get Friday Saturday at DefCon. But yeah, we'll be out there. I'm also uh, if any um, listeners are going to the CISO summit, I'll be at the CISO summit all day on Tuesday. Then I'll be in and around Black Hat Wednesday Thursday, and then I'll be DefConing. Um, on uh, Friday and Saturday, and then we'll have various events. We're actually, our, our podcast is called Shadow Talk, um, which you're you're well aware of. We're going to be doing a Shadow Talk episode from the show floor with some of our threat researchers as well. So, yeah, if you're interested, hit me up. I'll be happy to help. Yeah, awesome. We'll put a link as well um, so they can follow any kind of events that you guys are launch, releasing. Your events team, I'm sure, will be posting it as we lead up to Black Hat. Uh, Rick, it's been a pleasure to have you on. Appreciate your time, and I'll see you in August.